across the valley this afternoon. Skies clearing, humidity starting to fall off a little bit. And that trend of some sunshine will continue for the next couple of days. If you're making plans for Tuesday coming up, a uh, day when it starts off a little cooler, temperatures in the 50s in the morning with sunshine, clear skies, light winds, low humidity. Uh, we should see at least a light breeze tomorrow. I think the winds from the west and northwest or so may kind of be in about that 10 to 20 mile per hour range during the day, day tomorrow, especially along the coast. But lower humidity, sunshine gets temperatures back up to around 80 or higher by lunchtime. And in the 80s in the afternoon, just about everywhere except again right along the coast where it will be a little cooler. But a nice looking day. If you love sunshine, there is some good looking weather in the next few days. So hopefully you can get out and enjoy it. The clear skies taking over right now. You can see the showers from last night and some thunderstorms ending this morning. A couple of showers offshore, maybe some clouds still near the coast, but everything moving right along and out of our area. Across to the north, where there were some bigger storms in the hill country in San Antonio, that rain has moved away as well, but still some rain on the east side of Texas near Houston and Beaumont and moving into Louisiana. But you see a lot of clear skies behind this line of showers and storms, and that's what's coming our way the next few days. So temperatures, you know, we had kind of a little wheat storm system to go through, but not much cool air behind it. Just a little drop in humidity, but temperatures are still going to be at least in the 80s the next several days or even warmer by later in the week. So you don't see a lot of cold air pouring in, just temperatures you know, kind of still on the warm side. It's 70 in Austin and 81 in Laredo to our north. Now, future track, when you look, our little storm system that caused the rain last night is moving its way through the Gulf of Mexico. That continues to move off to the east. Little wheat front is fading away as it gets closer to us tonight and tomorrow. It kind of fades away to the north, but kind of keeps more of a, I guess you could say like, a little bit of a drier wind flow the next few days keeps the humidity down. So humidity is down some at least through Tuesday and Wednesday, and that allows the temperatures to cool off some in the morning. It looks like we'll be down in the 50s tomorrow morning, probably again on Wednesday morning. But you see how clear Texas is clear, sunny, dry Tuesday and going into Wednesday across all the valley in Texas. The next cold front we'll have to watch is still pretty far away by Wednesday evening. It's way out in Arizona and New Mexico, but you see it has Virtually no clouds with it, and that's probably what you'll expect when it finally gets here sometime by Thursday night or Friday. And once this front gets here, it's, you know, maybe knock temperatures down a little bit for the weekend, but not much. But ahead of the front, probably our warmest day could come on Thursday. You see by Thursday at 5 p.m., it shows a lot of clear skies across Texas and some heat could spread ahead of this front. So temperatures have a chance to hit 90 again in some areas by Thursday. And rain chances dry tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday and probably Friday, Saturday, maybe even Sunday, Monday as well. So first one five seven day forecast highs around 84 tomorrow, 87 on Wednesday. Now keep in mind, even though it's warm, the humidity is low those days, so it stays cool in the morning and light winds around by th Wednesday afternoon. Maybe a light breeze tomorrow. By Thursday, it gets hotter. We may bust the 90 degree mark in some areas, especially in the Dago and Star counties. By the weekend, with that next front coming through on Friday with no rain, it just cools off a little for Saturday and Sunday, but you see there are no cold temperatures coming in your first one five forecast. Steve.